So um, there was a bit incident. Taro and Hirai, I hope I pronounced that right, they had a fight backstage. How did you know about that? Renee, we've known each other six months. You know how much research I find that I'll fuck it up. And then, Is that on the internet? I found it. <laughs> Holy shit. So you, know when, you know when we've got our trolls? Oh, what does James contribute? I contribute a fucking lot, okay? I can't believe that got out. Well, I found out. Okay, what'd you hear? I was there. Uh, I was there when it happened. Well, I heard they had a fight, and Harai suffered a stroke because of it. That led towards Muta leaving all Japan, and Fudu made his disbanded well not disbanded but all the japanese time yeah. got disbanded yeah. from voodoo yeah. murders that's, uh, what killed, that's what killed the voodoo murders yeah, yeah I, do, I was I do there research i do my research Renee. wow that got on the internet so you tell us about it you got the full story yeah i was there so it's before the show where it's not we're not in osaka but we're somewhere near osaka voodoo murders at her own dress room right Oh, awesome. So I went, we usually, Japanese promotions usually get to the show three hours before. So a lot of guys, you know, uh, they usually have their own weight equipment and stuff. And you have guys like Suzuki, who's like fucking stretching all the young boys and beating the fuck out of them <laughs> before the show. <laughs> <laughs> so I went down to the convenience outside to go to the convenience store. As I'm coming back, as I go to open the door, the door swings open and it's it's Hirai holding his holding his face like this. And I walk into the dressing room. All the all the Japanese boys are wiping the walls down, all the blood. Wow. Yeah, there was blood all over the seat. I mean, it was it was it was bad, right? So the show starts. Hirai is on right before me, right? He does his match. So I'm back, like there's a curtain, whatever, and his match is done. You know, I'm doing my squats, pushing up, just, you know, stretching and stuff. He finishes his match, <clears throat> sits down, pukes, then goes into convulsions. Yeah. Yeah. Ambulance had to come pick him up. And I think now he's, uh, he's like a permanently brain dead. Wow. So that, that shows the dangers of performing while having a concussion. Yeah. Because I see it like he's permanently, like he, he he's like a, has to be like taken care of the rest of his life. Where was he in the pecking order? Because Tyro was the leader of Voodoo Mathis, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, he know he was a great guy. He's actually, he, you know who broke his arm once in a match? It was Chris Jericho. Really? Yeah. I think it was after a lion salt or something. He broke his arm. Yeah. But he died second generation. Right. Father was a wrestler. Really good guy. I don't know what the fight was over. No, but I, I, can't find, I can't find out about that. <laughs> yeah. But Taru, man, like, because Taru, I was in the match with Taru, and I remember Taru like, screaming at him, like, because he felt bad, right? And then during the match, Taru just, he, he didn't tag in. No emotion, you can tell that. Because, I mean, listen, uh, sometimes, especially in any, you get in a fight. Oh, yeah. Right? It happens. Yeah. But you don't want a guy, you don't want to fuck up a guy to the point where he's, you know what I mean? No, you want to teach him a lesson, but you don't want to permanently yeah. injure someone because right. you feel like a piece of shit. Yeah. Then Taru got fired. And that's what, yeah, that's what led to uh, Muda stepping down. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, Voodoo Mayors, obviously, um, did it last long much after this, or was it? No, it was done after that. Done. Done, yeah. Yeah. Because you carried on teaming with Joe Doring afterwards, though. Did we? I think so. Okay. (laughs) That's what the internet says. It must be true. (laughs) It must be true. I remember having a couple of singles matches with Joe and Cork and all. But uh, yeah, that was, but that, that really, that really shows the danger of if you have head trauma or concussion, you got to let yourself heal. Mm. You know what I mean? 
So I, I just all the concussions I've gotten where I didn't take time off and I was back in the ring, you know, like I know, I know I have CT. Like if it's not yet developed, it's going to, you know, there's no way I can. You know. So when I mentioned that to you, you seemed really surprised. So how much was it kept hush-hush then during your time there? I think it actually got into, um, I think the, the sports, the sports papers and the newspapers got the story. I mean, they couldn't right. hide it. They couldn't hide it because the guy, the guy is permanently like mentally disabled now, right? Yeah. So they had to make some statements. And I know a, a lot of, a lot of senior officials were, were pissed at Muda just the way he handled it or whatever. Right. I know it was a big thing. But then again, I'm not Japanese, so I didn't know the whole the whole no. story. Just, just, that just goes to show like the shit that happened with me and Bob, right? Hmm. And then the next day, me getting into the ring in a hardcore match, getting bashed over it. See how fucking dangerous that was? And that was a setup from the office. Like the office set that up. Yeah, definitely. Fucking idiot. I was about to say that. Um, how much uh, did that instant affect all Japan in general? Was it like a really negative effect after that? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it didn't help. But you know, time heals all wounds. Mm. You know, people forget about shit after a while. But yeah, it wasn't a. Taru, Taru got a lot of heat. Taru has never been with a major company since. No? Yeah. He, he, got, he got blacklisted for about a good three, four years after that. When's the last time you heard from him? Uh, I've seen him on, I think he does like spot shows for Zero One and stuff like that, like the smaller, smaller independents, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Shame. Um, oh, last time I seen him was when I went back to Wrestle One. Right. They brought him in specifically a Voodoo Murderers re uh, reunion and that's when my fucking flight got fucking delayed and I missed the show. Shit. That was like one of the best, it was like 2,000 people. That was one of the best houses Wrestle One had like since they started was yeah. when I came back for that big match, right? And I fucking missed the show. Oh God, Moody was pissed. God, he was mad at me. I said, I can't fly the plane, bro. There's only one flight a day that leaves. I couldn't make it. Sorry. <laughs>